Good morning. Welcome to day 13 of 21 days of prayer and fasting. And again, like I said yesterday morning, uh, pre-recorded this because I'm still in California. We'll be traveling back from California today and I look forward to seeing everybody in church tomorrow. And let me remind you, uh, we will not. I will not do a 5 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning on Sunday uh, because we'll be gathering together at church. Uh, so don't get up early, uh, sleep in a little bit, and then come to church refreshed, and it'll be good. But day 13, um, and our prayer focus for today in our guide is our local schools, uh, Lake Sumter State College, and Beacon College. So we really want to pray for the education um, and, and the school systems in our area this week. And um, you know, we prayed yesterday for marriage and families. And I really said yesterday, that's really what drives education. And so those two go together, which is why we kind of prayed for those together and back to back in that way. So pray for teachers, administrators, you know, specifically pray for uh, Mr. Randolph and the staff of Leesburg High School as we um, have, have wrapped our arms around Leesburg High and really decided to invest in them. Um, and, um, and let's just pray that God does some crazy stuff this year and that we see behavior change and test grades go up and attendance lowered. Uh, maybe even we pray specifically for the rocks part in that at Leesburg High School as we develop the rock and, and uh, that the rock is becomes a safe place and a haven and something that really makes a difference. Um, one of the things that we were that we were told as part of the vision of the rock was the um, the idea that there's there's a young girl and the teacher gets mad because the girl misses so much school um, and the teacher doesn't realize that the girl misses the same days each month and the reason being is because well it's that time of the month for her but because of her home situation she doesn't have feminine hygiene products and man I I never even thought of like I that blew my mind like when somebody told that story just the other day and I thought and I thought about stuff like that like she's afraid she's gonna have an accident be embarrassed so she didn't come well then when people give her a hard time she's not gonna tell it what it is or what the issue is she's gonna give an attitude and it just makes this whole and then she fails out of the class so could something as silly as us having feminine hygiene products available in the rock be something that makes this girl pass her class and continue moving forward so pray for the rock Pray for our schools and, and all that we're doing in that place. But let's jump in um, to the de devotional for this morning. Mark 1 and 12 says, Immediately the Spirit drove him, um, this time about Jesus, into the wilderness. And he was there in the wilderness 40 days, tempted by Satan, and was um, with the wild beast, and the angels ministered to him. You know, even Jesus disconnected from the world to fast. Like even Jesus had to um, get away. You know, he often would go alone and somewhere to pray. But the reality of disconnecting. And in this, um, the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, uh, and Luke speak of Jesus in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. So we're doing 21. <laughs> but I want you to think about 40 days and 40 nights that Jesus pulled away from the demands of the crowd right? He, he, he pulled away from ministry and even his closest friends just to re, reconnect. I mean, if Jesus needs to reconnect with the Father, how much more you and I? And so I want to challenge you to do something. For those of you who are not already, I'm going to challenge you. We've got one week left of 21 days. And here's what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to ask you to consider your, your media consumption. Right? Because I think that's really what clouds the majority of our lives, or screens, right? Now, I know I'm going to be doing this on Facebook or YouTube at 5 a.m. And so if you want to get up and look at that, this is not, a, this is not Nazi Germany, right? Nobody's checking on your, you know, what you're doing. But maybe even especially the TV, like turn the TV off at night. Like maybe we would for this next week... We, we get away from TV, we get away from the media, we just, we just kind of break away. A couple other verses that, that, that I have here. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Um, could it be sometimes that we don't hunger and thirst for righteousness because we're already filled? Like we're already so entertained, right? And so filled with the things of this world that of course we're not hungry for things of God because we don't feel a need because we're continuing to feed ourselves with the things of this world. So push those things aside 
and, and find a place where you kind of get hungry for what it is that God has for you. And so let's let's do some media fasting this week. Let's do some screen fasting this week. Let's work on um, not picking up our phone uh, unless it's just an absolute have to you know, type of situation and just see if we can maybe spend some of that time focusing up, focusing a little bit more on what it is that God might be saying. Matthew 6 and 19, do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy, where thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in or steal or where your treasure is there your heart will be also. So, man, let's spend the last week of our 21 days. We're going to come together and worship tomorrow in church. And and I hope that God, the Holy Spirit, will speak to you and God will stir your heart and, and, uh, and speak to you tomorrow. But then let's take this last week and get away from the media stuff and the screens and kind of draw into God and find again a hunger and thirst for something. Because I think when a kid sits around, and, and, and I've done this too, you know, you're sitting around the house and you're like, well, I'm bored, right? And I remember somebody time, some, sometimes, um, a long time ago, somebody told me um, that bored people are boring, right? And, and I, I remember kind of laughing and kind of thinking about that, thinking, yeah, like if you're bored, you, you kind of lack creativity. But when you're bored, what you're saying is, is I feel the need for something, right? Like I... I want something. I need something. Well, there's your hunger and thirst. And so will you clear enough stuff to where you feel that hunger and thirst and then fill it with God this week? Like take time to read his word, take time to talk to him, take time to listen to some worship music or do something. And and, and then let's ask God to give us a spiritual hunger this week, a new hunger, something more and something different. Let me, let me pray for you. God, thank you for your word. Thank you for this opportunity to refocus. And as we head into this last week of 21 days, uh, help us to push the distractions aside. And just like Jesus did, that we would get away um, and, and we would find a spiritual hunger and thirst. And so God, we, we thank you um, for who you are. We thank you for what you're going to do in church tomorrow and the way you're going to speak to us and then give us strength to finish strong this 21 days as we continue to try to hear your voice and understand what it is that you're calling each of us to do. So we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day. Love you guys.